my hedge trimmer stopped working. I just couldn't figure out what it could be. Oh, maybe that's it. I cut through the cord. Hey, bus lovers. This great big oak tree back here is about to become the setting of a backyard wedding, and this is how we do it. The idea here is we are getting it to hang about six, six and a half feet from the ground on the end. Uh, so they'll just kind of dangle down temporarily. Oh, I'm uh, getting them up in the branches where I want them with the zip ties. And now I'll go back with like a horseshoe nail kind of thing and then I'll uh, put them in permanently with that uh, the nails won't hurt the tree at all these zip ties if left long enough may girdle the limbs and uh, and then the branches won't get any more nutrients and they will die so definitely don't want that i've leveled out a good little area for a patio which i won't get to this time but between my tiller and the little tractor with the blade i've got a good little pad and then i'm going to go back with some pavers that i've been saving up some old reclaimed pavers kinds of the letters on them he 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 and uh, eventually I'll have a paved patio I just wanted the lights to hang down I don't really want the lights to show along the branches but we've got what we've got I'm trying to get the lights to trace along the top of the branches where they're not hanging down and it makes for a little less work when it comes to wiring the outlets and things permanently. Oh, whatevs. How high is that one? Oh. So besides just hanging the Christmas lights, I also added a pendant. I will have a double outlet there under the switch, but for now we've got the switch. We ran quite a bit of conduit. Split it five ways.